All right. Well, if anybody's watching this, trying to get away from Kratom, I've been doing this stuff for three years, and I've, I've tried quitting. And lately, I've been tapering down my dose. And this is about all I take in the morning. And I, each each dose during the day, I actually sprinkle a little bit less than this, as kind of as needed, just just to try to so I can function. I mean. Um, it's been going pretty well. I've, I've had chills, um, but when I know I need to dose, it's like, I don't just get cravings. I get, like, my body, it messes with my body temperature. And that has to be a red flag for anybody. I mean, it's just only taken me three years to realize this stuff is bad for me. I don't know. I'm not going to say about you, but, uh, combining my research with, you know, things I've read, or my experiences with things I've read online. Yes, I've experienced the restless legs and whatnot, but I've also researched vitamins and minerals in restless legs. It's most likely magnesium deficiency, which most Americans are deficient on magnesium anyway. But uh, if you're trying to quit, um, you're, you also might want to address, uh, you know, this stuff is making you use all your dopamine. So if you want to know why you're a you're on autopilot and, and nothing really makes you happy uh, is because this stuff you, you may it, it, it this makes you think that this is the only thing that can make you happy like little things in life like oh I did the dishes that makes me happy that that released a little a little um, dopamine to reward you that's the way it's supposed to work but this stuff goes you know, it, as soon as it kicks in, it starts releasing all your dopamine. It's just like, I'm, I am rewarded, you know. So, if you really want to quit, I wouldn't recommend for myself, I wouldn't recommend going to cold turkey. Um, I tried it for a day, and or about mm, half a day. <laughs> um, and so, I, I gave myself about this much this morning, but I'm, I'm doing less and less. Um you start taking magnesium at night and and probably another cup of pills you know like one one mag, one big fat magnesium pill every every eight hours um, but one thing that I've found that's actually really enjoyable is uh, wild blueberries you can just buy the cheap wild blueberries uh, blueberries actually help you make dopamine um, and you probably want to go with dark chocolate uh, but straight up cacao tastes horrible but if you eat like half a square of this and munch on like four or five blueberries and just get it down kind of like medicine the combination is a is a really good way to help you make dopamine to kind of boost you up it takes a couple hours but there is there is life um, I woke up and I don't feel like absolute dog crap this morning um, I, I felt a, like I had the chills a little bit and the my dose is starting to kick in right now um, and that helps my temperature or whatnot but again red flag um, and I was also taking it because I have serious back pain I mean I have a hip that's been out for for about three years um, and I spend a lot of time laying with my butt I don't know if you can see it. You get a flashlight. I spend a lot of time laying on this blanket uh, with my butt right here and my legs over the chair. And that helps my hips relax and touch the floor and kind of reset each day or each night, really, until sometimes like 3 o'clock in the morning. But that's the only way I can go without a lot of hip pain the next day. So. Uh, but one thing I've found is, um, I, my, my hips had a really hard time relaxing whenever I was taking the Kratom and not taking magnesium. Um, so if you insist on taking Kratom, magnesium has got, or, you know, magnesium is found in dark leafy greens and a, a lot of other stuff. But if you don't eat a lot of dark leafy greens, then take, I would probably take, a magnesium pill, uh, and you want magnesium glycinate, I think. I, I think I, most most places you can get uh, oxide, 
but I found that if I take a lot of magnesium, my hips actually um, actually reset a lot faster. I don't have to lay here as long for them. It, it affects my digestion and, and my bladder. As soon as my hips touch the floor and actually relax, it activates my bladder. And I have to get up, and it's it's kind of a, a process, but um, <clears throat> the magnesium that I have here is, I think it's probably oxide. I, I ordered some glycinate. It should be here on Tuesday, but a couple days from now, rather. Um, yeah, magnesium oxide. I mean, start off with any kind of magnesium you can get your, your hands on, but... Glycinate. If you have an absorption problem, glycinate. <laughs> glycinate will let you know if you have an absorption problem because it'll, uh, it, it'll, you'll feel the effects a lot better. That's that's the the granddaddy of magnesium. Anyway, just taper, you know, and I think soon I will I will be able to reward myself for you know doing little things like dishes, but. Um, I think this is a big reason, I think this is a big reason why my house, why, why I don't really care that much. And I blamed it on my back pain, um, but <laughs> the, the Kratom is, is one of the reasons why I can't get a lot of relief on my back because it depletes my magnesium. But I guess theoretically I could just take a bunch of magnesium and Kratom, but I, three years of my life, I don't really have a lot of accomplishments to show for it, and I think it's be. Oh no, bad. Uh, I think it's because um, you know the kratom has rewarded me more than than anything else in my life. So I mean, I feel little spurts of trying, and it gives me little spurts of energy, but it's it's not. It's not worth it for me, for people like me. I don't know if there's anybody like me, but um, oh, that sucks. <laughs>